Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave 2 d So this week at work, I've had a very busy work week. I can't do a regular video. I just don't have time to film and edit a regular video. So I thought I would do kind of like a filler video, but a lot of people have been asking for this. So here it is, the office slash setup tour. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use the camera on the LG G4 just so I can kind of move around and show what goes on. Uh, and yeah, let's do it. So the first thing I want to show you is the lighting. Uh, people often ask me what kind of lights I use for my videos and it's three very large windows that I'm able to use to get uh, just very natural looking lighting as well I get it for free. Now the thing that sucks about this kind of lighting is that I'm very dependent on good weather. If I don't have good weather I can't shoot and if it's like slightly cloudy or if like clouds go by in the middle of a video I get weird like white balance and just exposure changes throughout a shot. So I have to kind of just deal with that. Uh, the camera that I use is a Panasonic GH4. So this is a very common camera in the tech YouTuber world. Uh, the lens I'm using is also very common. It's the Sigma 1835 with a Metabone. So this lens I recently picked up used. Most of my videos have been shot with a different lens, which I'll show you later. Um, the camera is, you know what? I should stop the recording here. Okay. Uh, the camera is sitting in a Honu V2 cage. So most cages are for like accessories. You just kind of put like monitors or external mics or whatever. I don't have any accessories. I just use it for the top handle because I find it a lot more comfortable to kind of hold and control a camera with a top handle. So this just used to be a piece of metal, like a rod, and I wrapped it up with bike grip tape. Uh, just so it's a little more comfortable. The camera sitting on a S4, like a Benro video head. It's a pretty standard video head. There's nothing I dislike or really like about it. Uh, sitting on a Edelkrone slider. So this is a slider that slides a lot further than its footprints would have you believe. Um, it's a very good slider, but I haven't had a chance to use it much. I try not to use too many slider shots. I think one of my earlier videos I used way too many slider shots and people kind of ripped me for it. So I've been hesitant to use too many. Um, it's sitting on a Benro tripod. I don't know the model number. Now as for why I went with Benro instead of another company like Manfrotto, it's only because of the color. That's it. Okay. Uh, this is a fat boy bean bag. Uh, it's been in the office forever. I used to remove it for shoots, but I've noticed that the audio quality is better when I leave it in because it kind of helps. Uh, like, so if you notice, this is all hardwood floor and the sound echoes a lot in this room. If I leave this in here, it kind of helps dampen the sound and just kind of gives a better audio quality for recordings. This is a video editing PC that I set up. Uh, so this is an X99 system, EVGA, X99 Micro, uh, GTX 980, 32 gigs of RAM. The chip that's in there right now is a 10 core server chip from Intel. I think it's a E52687 version three. It used to have a six core, the 5820, uh, but I put in a 10 core chip recently just to kind of see how it would compare um, against a 10 core Mac for just Premiere and, audio and After Effects. And yeah, in case you're curious, the Mac is a little bit faster, even though this thing has a higher clock speed. Um, there's nothing in here of importance, really. Well, this is the six core chip that used to be in there, the 5820. Uh, man, I really should have opened these <laughs> before I started filming. Okay, this is the 14 millimeter 2.5 prime lens. So this is what I've shot like most of my videos with. Uh, until recently when I picked up the Sigma lens. This is a very good lens. It's inexpensive. I think it's like $250, $300. Uh, it's a good lens. These drawers are filled with files. They're just like office files. Pretty boring stuff. Like boxes and whatnot. This is PS4. Batman PS4. Uh, so this is an LG, if it can focus, 
an LG 31MU97, which is their 4K, like a true 4K screen. So this is like 4096 by 2160. I prefer this monitor more than the one I'm using right now, but this one doesn't play well with the Mac Pro. So right now I'm leaving it here with the PS4 and the PC. The headphones here are, uh, I don't even think you can get these anymore. They're, they're older, uh, MDR V700s. They're really bass heavy, but they sound good. Okay, so this is the notebook that I use for like most of my work. Uh, if I'm not video editing, I'm using this thing. I prefer using a notebook over most things just because of the portability, to be able to like just work wherever and whenever. Uh, keys, wallet. Oh, this is a wallet company from Canada called Card Stack, I think. Yeah. So they just put like pieces of aluminum and a silicon band that kind of keeps your wallet small. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is a charging station that I just kind of put all the battery chargers and put them in there. Why am I even showing you this? That's pretty boring stuff. Okay, this is a mic. Uh, so the way I record my audio is I'll put it here and I will record uh, just kind of like, you can kind of see the camera. So just the mic will be just out of the frame and I'll kind of talk like that in front of it. So this mic is, I think it's like a knockoff of some Audio-Technica mic. I don't know, it's unbranded. It's just like some cheap Asian knockoff, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it sounds good, so I just continue to use it. And it's sitting on a Benro carbon monopod. The model number is right there, C48TD. <clears throat> okay. Uh, these are, this is the bag I normally use, like for 95% of my stuff. This is a bag I use when I have to carry like multiple notebooks around just because they fit better in there than in here. Uh, I only started using this though, like if I have to bring notebooks to my home to kind of film and stuff like that. And that's some stuff I have to review. This is a poster that I designed when I was younger. I thought it was super cool. Brought it to work, like I got it printed, got it to work. I brought it to work and no one thought it was cool. So, oh well. But I like it, so it stays there. Uh, okay, so this is a Herman Miller Mira, Mira 2, I think it's called. Uh, super comfortable chair. I like it. It looks weird. I would say it borders on looking ugly, but uh, it's very comfortable, so I like it. It's a Logitech TK820 keyboard. Uh, Logitech performance MX mouse. So I used to have the Logitech Master MX uh, up until like a week ago. It was having issues. I sent it back to Logitech. They are either doing a refurb or they're repairing it. We'll see. But uh, it was having weird glitchy issues, which this thing still has, but whatever. That's just the nature of wireless mice. Uh, Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. Pop in hardcover blue books. I think the color is called Pool Blue. Uh, it's a USB hub that I cut the rubber stand from the speakers, so just kind of like hide the wire because nobody likes wires, right? Um, this is a Mac Pro. The inside has been color weird. Uh, there's more. I'll probably do a video on that and some other color weird stuff shortly. Um, specs of this thing. It's 10 core. Uh, 3 gigahertz, 64 gigs of RAM, and a pair of D700s. Uh, okay, over here, some phones. So, a Asus Zenfone 2, Nexus 6 in a cool orange, uh, Moto X 2014, and an iPhone 6. Uh, these are all D brand skins. This is the phone that you guys are most familiar with. I use this a lot in my uh, notebook audio tests and stuff like that. Reason for that is this. I'm not sure if it's the mic or the position of the mic or like what it is, but this thing has very accurate 
sound meter. Uh, very accurate in terms of like comparing it to an actual professional decibel meter. This thing is almost identical in numbers. So I continue to use this uh, for those videos. So this is the action module for the Edelchrome. This thing plugs up to the slider and you get um, just automated slides. So you can kind of control your speed and your acceleration and just get better control and just meant much smoother slider shots if you do it electronically. Uh, this is the FLIR one. So this is like the thermal camera I use for some notebook uh, heat output. This is some pretty boring stuff in here. Um, this is the spider I use for like monitor calibration or just color accuracy. Uh, this is an AC or a power bar that I use. I know it looks like very unassuming and not very special, but these five ports out here, they push out more amperage than any other port. So I think these things go up to three amps. I'm not even sure if it's legal because when, if you look at the literature on it, it just says it goes up to 2.4, but these definitely go above 2.4. So you can quick charge like multiple devices uh, very quickly off of this thing. It's pretty good. Um, mouse that I use for games. Uh, these are LED lights. I try not to use lights, but if I have to, like for product shots, if it's like a rainy day and I just can't get enough lighting for product shots, I'll use those. Um, they're just LED lights. But in general, I just try to use natural lighting for everything. Uh, this is a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. It normally comes in red, but they were awesome and made me one in blue. This is, uh, well, the Audio-Technica M50X. These are very ubiquitous. Everyone knows what those are. So I don't like editing with these things. They honestly sound too good. They kind of give you a false perception of what your audio sounds like uh, for people that don't have awesome headphones or speakers. So I try to use something like crappier than these for editing. Uh, the table. So this is, I get asked this a lot. This is a drafting table from Japan. It's really old, it's from like the 1980s or something. Uh, it's, I mean, a drafting table is just a regular table, but you can kind of tilt it. So right now it's flat and you can manually tilt it so that it comes up on an angle. Uh, it's something for like architecture or just like doing uh, design work and stuff like that. So we have a bunch of these in the office. I chose this one because it's gray. And yeah, I think the gray works well with my stuff. But for someone who loves tech, I try to keep as few things as possible. I mean, I try to have as little equipment and as little gear as possible because I'm not into that. I don't want to have like a whole bunch of gadgets and gizmos and stuff like that. It's just not me. I like to keep myself simple. I like to keep myself light. If you have any questions or comments, you can always use the comment section below, but I'm also gonna be doing a Twitter post. So if you guys have any questions about my channel in general or about me or about this video, go to uh, Twitter and just look for the hashtag AskDave2D uh, and just follow me on Twitter. And just, if you have any questions, ask me there because next week I will probably be doing a video where I answer a bunch of questions that you guys have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been nice. I'll see you guys next time.